So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad fuel pump, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad fuel pump and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. And so what are some symptoms of a bad fuel pump? Whether well, it might be intermittent stalling, sometimes the engine will idle fine, but when you go to step on the gas, it stalls out and things like this. That's a sign of a weak fuel pump that it's just starting to fail. Another very common symptom is that the vehicle just doesn't start at all, that the fuel pump is just completely burnt out. And so the vehicle won't start at all. The engine might run poorly. It might not be able to sustain speed like you're going down the highway or the freeway or something. You might be getting decreased fuel efficiency and the engine might be running lean and that just means that you're getting more air into the engine than gas and so what is a fuel pump well a fuel pump is just nothing more than electric motor that pumps gas up to the engine and so anything that affects electric motors is going to affect the fuel pump and this includes things like hot or cold weather especially hot weather hot weather can often affect a fuel pump especially an old fuel pump sometimes the vehicle won't start but as soon as the weather cools down then it starts and of course age will affect electric motors so if it's getting really old then it might be getting weak it just not have the power like it once did the windings inside electric motors they burn out so then it just won't work anymore and if the vehicle's been sitting for a very long time, like two, three, six months or something like that, then old gas can also affect fuel pumps. Old gas can affect the entire fuel system. So that's something to keep in mind that if the vehicle's been sitting for a very long time, then that can cause issues. And so how do you go about diagnosing if you do have a bad fuel pump? Well, the first thing to do when you think you have a bad fuel pump is to go check all your relays and fuses and be sure that they haven't blown out because that is a common problem. You might have a blown fuse, you might have a bad relay. And so definitely go check those out. It can vary a little bit on which fuse and relay they're on. On. For example, this is a Toyota and Toyota likes to put them underneath EFI. So this 15 amp fuse is for the fuel pump. And then there's also an EFI relay. And quite often these relays are the same. You have to look and make sure. But for example here, this horn relay would be the same as this EFI relay. So if you swapped them out and you pushed on the horn and the horn worked, then you would know that relay was good. But the first thing to go and do is check any fuses or relays that have to do with the fuel pump. And there is a few methods to go about checking to see if you have a bad fuel pump. A very common method that many mechanics use is that they'll use starter fluid and they'll just spray right into the air intake like right into the throttle body or right on the intake air filter they'll spray a bunch of fluid in there and, and then they'll go and see if the engine starts if the engine starts up then they know there's some kind of fuel problem going on and quite often that means that it's a bad fuel pump of course it could be other things be sure to check your fuses and relays but that is very common just to see if you're having a fuel related issue the best way to go about checking if a fuel pump has failed is to use a fuel pressure gauge and basically with the fuel gauge you just attach it to the top of the engine along the fuel rail there's usually a port that you can attach a fuel gauge to not all vehicles have these but many do and once it's attached to the port you put the key into the on position so it'll turn on the fuel pump and you check to see what the pressure is and you can match this to see what the fuel pump rated output is so for example say that fuel pump's supposed to be outputting 50 psi but then you go to check it and it's only putting out like 20 or 30 then you know there's an issue going on there and more than likely that fuel pump has failed so the best way to test the fuel pump is to use the fuel pressure gauge to see if the pressure is correct and there is other components that could cause similar symptoms then it can make it seem like there's a bad fuel pump when it's really something else and this is going to include things like a clogged up fuel filter a clogged up gas line something like a hole in the gas line or the fuel pressure regulator and the most common thing that could cause similar symptoms is going to be a clogged up fuel filter especially if you have an inline fuel filter not all vehicles have these inline fuel filters quite often they're inside the gas tank with the fuel pump but many vehicles do have these inline fuel filters and these should be changed out regularly because if they get clogged up or anything like that, then they could block the flow of fuel and it gives off the same symptoms as a bad fuel pump. So if you do have an inline fuel filter, it's very likely a good idea to just go ahead and replace it since it is part of regular maintenance anyways. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad fuel pump and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.